here we go. The balanced difficulty.
Okay, so if you are joining me right now, I would suggest that you watch the character creation video that is like the pre-episode of this series, and it, I will link it in the description as well as uh, it will be the first video in the playlist. So, yep, yeah, let's go. This is the pool that Bing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Ah, uh, reach toward the pool investigation. I'm gonna do investigation. Skill checks. Yeah. So, uh, we've got proficiency bonus. Let's go. Roll the die. One. Oh. Critical failure. Come on. <laughs> really? You notice nothing more than meets the eye. Reach toward the pool. Yeah, so our choice is... Okay. <laughs> our choices influence what happens in the game. So I'm gonna... Yeah. Sure, Someone I'm else got dead. Out. We've got fire resistance, so I don't need to worry about that. A goblin over here. Let's see. We go! Yes! You've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please, before they return! They return. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You know no creature like this. One that is more brain than person. The enemy. So many enemies. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. I'm going to try my investigation. Okay, we won. Uh, we got it. It's a success. You notice a demon, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. I'm gonna just destroy it. Yeah. That is something very weird. He doesn't even have anything. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh, my head. What is this? Squaw, you are no thrall. Blacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. We carry Mind Flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be Geich, Mind Flayers. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. So dead. You miss, you loser. Oh, we did it. Let's go through this sphincter. I'll give it a shot. Sphincter. The man isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. Life flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. You! Get me out of this damn thing! We have no time for stragglers. Okay, seven. Let's do it. Yes, we got it. Warding ruins. You feel them drawing energy from the console near to the pod. Are you satisfied? We need to go. Hurry! Please! 
The console appears dormant. The console hums to life. Yes. Critical success. The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. A parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Yes, we did it. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. You owe me your life. You owe me, Shadow Heart. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness, because you have a gif with you. You keep dangerous company. Dangerous Fair company point. Is what we need. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. All right, then let's get going. I'm Balthar. Shadowheart, one moment. What's that? It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. But first, wait, wait, wait. I want to touch the buttons here. Let's touch the buttons. Push. Oh. Okay. Dead. You are dead. Come on. Right. Oh, last one. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kane Yank. Women. What's in here? Dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Place your hand on As the you pod. place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. <laughs> Changer changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. Deal with the Geich after we escape. On the move. It's Clara. Hurry before they strike. We need to get here. The Helm's alien transponder. You've made it in time.
As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Where did you the chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Mm, you're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? I was hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling, then nothing. Do you have any idea where we are? No, I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you flatter me. All right. Let's get moving. One thing, just before we go, I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Cool. You're very welcome. There's a barrel. Gold. Let's go, Balasar. Lock these tools. Yes. Can't keep me out. Okay, you see, we've got, we've got, uh, difficult, oh shit. Add a bone. Guidance. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Yes! We did it! Success! Let's go! Ooh! The chest! Holy water, lady. Oh, please. Please. Ten. Ah! Oh, critical success! Yeah! Please do not fail. Please do not fail. Yes! Critical success! We have... Ooh! Not proficient with heavy armor. Ah, okay, a soul coin. So we're gonna do a fight here, if I remember correctly. This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. Please don't fail. Shit. My patron obviously doesn't want anything to do with me. The tome does not take kindly to your tempering. A feeling like pins and needles lingers under your skin, pricking and prodding. Not very strong. Oh, critical success! Read comes smart. As the lock opens, a loose page comes with it. Magic pulses from the parchment. What was once script is now an obliterated scrawl. You have a sense these are names, a list, but of what? Religion, examine the book more closely. Let's see. Am I gonna fail? No, it's a success. Gods. These are the names of gods. Once lost, but now restored after the second sundering. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. Okay. Crap. Yet he missed. Miss shit. I missed. Right in. Come on, come on. Yes, we did it. Oh, nice. Oh, you beautiful guy. Holy crap, we did it. We did it. Um.
So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Let's go with curiosity. Nothing more. Wilt thou answer my question? Ask away. So, I ask again. What is the worth of a single mortal life? I think each life is of, an in, uh, is of infinite value and merit sacrifice. And thus, balance is achieved. If all are at war, none can win. Very well, I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Bye bye. They're not gonna even give me some treasure. Ooh, definitely. Ooh, we can level up. Level up. Warlock level two. Yeah. Okay. One and agonizing blast. Okay. I think what we're gonna do long rest because we need it. You strike me as the reliable sort, but are you sure this is a good idea? Sure. What is a good idea? There are lit fuses in our heads. Sooner or later, they're going to blow. Each hour that passes, the thing inside us grows. We need to find a healer. Let's wake up at first light. This is unfamiliar territory. Rushing will only land us in more trouble than we can handle. That sort of danger I'm fine with. I can fight it. Rest well. We'll need our strength. Okay, let's sleep. Go to bed. Okay, auto-select. I don't want to use my supply pack. We need 40. <laughs> Critical miss. Shit. This is a reaction. Ha <laughs> ha you missed! <laughs> you dead. You fight well. Gold! And a helmet! Let's wear that. <laughs> Hurry, I've got one of those brain things corner there in the grass you can kill it can't you like you killed the others kill it yourself you look capable enough i was hoping for a kind soul well not to worry dexterity okay we did it i saw you on the ship strutting about whilst i was trapped in that pot what did you and those tentacled freaks do to me you have it backwards they snatched me up too i'm not an idiot i saw ah! your mind twists you're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm, the light, the fear. <sighs> what was that? What's going on? Put the knife away and I'll tell you everything. I'm not an idiot. It has to be those tentacled monsters. Something they did. They took you too. I saw it during whatever just happened. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Indeed we are. Caught up. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Baldarian, introduce yourself. You're a, you're a Baldarian. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. Yes, unfortunately, they'll turn us into mind players. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. If you travel with me, our odds are better together. Yeah. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All oh, thank right, you. I accept. Lead on. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion? No, this isn't You can't to move, away. can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Close those eyes forever. 
You kidnap me, you fool! You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Touch the sigil. A hand? Anyone? Whatever you're doing is working wonders! Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Oh, hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. No need to apologize. Are you all right? A bit shocked. But friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking, you were on the Nautiloid as well. I was, yes. And I can only assume you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Go the insertee on. we speak of, this... Parasite? Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't of happen course. to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most? No doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. My patron offers me many gifts, but tadpole extraction is not one of them. I can't cure our parasites. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer. And soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. Parasite shared is a parasite... Halved, or something to that effect. <laughs> oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Let's hope so. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes... How will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Deception. We're good at deception. We did it. He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. A blast? I could use more specific. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. I'm in dire need of healing. Where is this camp? Ah, critical failure. Yes. Roll again. Yeah. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Enough Thank you. Gawking. Get me down. Now that they're out of earshot, sure. As you say. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Kef, she obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. And what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. Okay. All right, we journey together. Let's find this crash. Make space, and my might is yours. Okay. Astarian. Yeah, take Astarian's place. He can head back. Well chosen. You have made an ally from Crash Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust Lazelle. your judgment. But I won't trust her, not until I've gotten the measure of... You've a sharp tongue, elf. Word that your mind proved its equal. Half, elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. You both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone! But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we stop! Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. Persuasion. That ship is full of monsters. I wouldn't go near it. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um... Second mouse gets the cheese. No? Nobody's getting any damn cheese! Now move it! Cool. Bye-bye. Thank you, Gimble Book. Everything all right out there? Oh, performance, deception. Ah, Gimble 
Gimbalbuck triggered some trap. He needs help now. Oh, I told him it wasn't safe out there. Get inside and I'll rustle up some bandages. Who the hell? Now we're gonna fight. You're dead! Let's go. Dead talk! Eldritch, Eldritch Blast. Dead. We're dead. We're dead. Game over. What? We died. <laughs> no. That's how you should not play. Okay, I'm gonna get back to that point quickly. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so we finally got back. We are not gonna go fight them. <laughs> Why are you studying your own mirror image? Indulging in a spot of vanity. Handsome devil, aren't I? Be that as it may. Ceramorphosis. What does it make you think of? First and foremost, that damn tab ball. Spot on. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Need to go on? Nod. Yeah. Day four, excruciating pain as the skeleton and organs reform and reposition. Day five, the host personality has disappeared. Fingers and toes and limbs elongate. I take it you get the picture? I do, but you might as well finish the picture. Day six, the flesh around the mouth splits to make way for tentacles. Day seven, a mind flayer is born. We should be having a fever by now. Graying skin even. Spot on again. Uh, Orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. Any expert will agree, this is abnormal. Can you explain why the symptoms aren't showing? That, alas, is where my knowledge failed. A rogue might call it luck, a priest might call it fate. As for myself, I'm a pragmatic. I see the silence before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. Okay, full rest. For those of you who do not know, Astarian is a vampire. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Sevlo's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Sevlo, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druids? Please! There's no time! By the nine hells! Open the gates! <clears throat> Damnable roach! Provoke the blade! And suffer its sting. Time to meet your maker. He's dead. That was the last of them! Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gates! There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Uh, one fight just ended, and now you're picking another? Relax. Tell that to the dead at the gate. Shut it, horns! I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foul bloods ain't known for courage. You see the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> uh, should we roll again? Use inspiration. I'm not going to use my last inspiration. With a thunk, the armored man collapses. <laughs> Unconscious. Enough. The goblins have found us. No doubt the beast will be back. We need to pack up and leave. Immediately. Okay. Goblin trying to avoid. Now that's settled. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. I'm Balasar. Well met. I should warn you. Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. 
I have no quarrel with the druids. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. This ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though, I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. I'll see what I can do. I think you should. Yes, no harm in trying the diplomatic route. We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Well, first of all, we are gonna go somewhere. Bugbear assassin. Guiding bolt. We did it. You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. But too bad. I earned it. Fair and square. Hmm. You got me. Hand over the coin and the coin over and I'll be on my way. Okay. Bloody ironies! Devils just can't stand to lose. Here, now go back to the pit that made you. So, we have three... No time to rest. Soul coin. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Mm. I'm looking for I a I pray healer. no goblin arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The grove will be locked down soon. So you're really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. We druids here? will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. You just said the region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. As I said, it's a drastic measure, but the survival of the grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. What are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Let me see what you got. Cool. Thank you. Bye-bye. Sylvanas, guide your path. On to Ethel. Wait a Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. It's a rare day when I see one of you lot about. Thank you. Goodness, you came along when you... Oh, there isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Petal. Are you hot? Cold? Feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Mm. What are you, an alchemist? Oh, nothing as fancy as that. But I come from a long line of women with a dab hand at such things. Aha! You take a sip of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. What is this exactly? Oh, it's just a healing potion. Nothing fancy. Here, you just look like you might need a pick-me-up. I'm sorry to go on about it. Are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. Mm. I've been better. It's difficult to explain. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. She is not to know of the our ailment. Only a gift healer may make us pure. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? Hmm, there's nothing wrong. I swear everything's fine. As you wish, Petal. No, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. What harm? Show me your wares. Hey, bother. She has potions. Thank you. Bye-bye. I know you're a witch. <laughs> Take care now, sweetie. I know you're a witch. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiefling. If you ever had it to begin with. Mm. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him too. You, move! Mm. Let's see. 
You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! But why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Uh, a goblin prisoner. Her life isn't yours to take. Your soft heart will be the death of us. Not sure I get that. The bars don't make her special, but fine, whatever. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Let's start with sorry, every Believe it or not, but I witnessed a similar standoff back at the Yawning Portal. Of course, an establishment like that invites all sorts of outlandish entertainments. What's the Yawning Portal? An inn in Waterdeep. Ooh, never a dull moment there. Adventurers come from all over Faerun to try their luck down the well. Leads into the Undermountain, you see. Full of death, danger, vast amounts of treasure. Hard to resist. What was the standoff about? Oh, a drow, a dragonborn, and a cleric of Cyric walk into a bar. Your standard fare. Maybe someone was cheating at cards. Maybe it was some weird lover's quarrel. In any case, out came the crossbow, and a hush fell over the entire room. What happened next? I stood up and yelled, Shadow Dark Ale for everyone. The crowd cheered. The tension drained into five dozen tankards. And soon, all was well again. In a place like the Yawning Portal, the most powerful magic is calling for a round of drinks. Mind you, all I did was call for ale. But you went and stood in front of that crossbow. Well, I'll drink to that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'm not going to talk to her. Should I talk to her? Yeah. Okay, let's talk to Ain't her. Ain't sure why you're protecting me. Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends walk me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the absolute and hang you by your guts. I saved your life, so sh show some gratitude. They'll peel your face off and nail it to a wall. I ain't scared of some god. Stick a dozen arrows in me and priestess guard still patch me up. Got a whole lab set up, cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. Mighty Booyog. Bah! A clever goblin's like a trustworthy geek. A figment of the imagination. Uh, well, I'd certainly, certainly like to meet her. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? Uh... Okay, I'm just gonna leave because oh, I curse to put my I'll hands on later. everything. He's gonna steal from you, so don't talk to him. Please, last room. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn, and you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Ragrashab, or I'll rip your damn throat out. <gasps> Okay, we need to talk to her. God damn it! We could have taken those guards. We need to get Arabella out now. You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh. I saw what happened. Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing would just disappear. Or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. This grove is like a cauldron about to boil over. I say we check in on the child. Make sure she comes to no harm. Like you said, it's your fault. You should have tried parenting her. That's what I would like to say. <laughs> but let's go with the passionate, <laughs> compassion answer. She's just a child. The druids are overreacting. I'll talk to them. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. Okay. Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You, get back. If it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Keep back. Force my hand, and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Volo. He's gonna be important later. Never been this way. Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Fine, ask your question. Lord, now, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Mm. Give an exact description. Goblins were of rare, jam-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. A myth-weaver. This man has no respect for truth. 
And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? A brass or silver dragon would die a million deaths before allying with goblins. Witnesses noticed a red dragon marching at rear. Last question, then you'll be quite... Did the attack rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Yes, they called out the name like a war cry. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Goblin superstition, not worth the ink and parchment. Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Be careful. Goblins aren't known for mercy. Ooh, never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Until we meet again. Which we will. We will meet you again. Okay, let's go talk to Koga. Oh wait, we can level up? Woohoo! Level up, let's level up. Please! I'm sorry. This is madness, Koga. She's just a- A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil, and I will cast out every stranger. Imprison her? She's just a child. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Hmm. Release her. I'll see that she stays out of trouble. That's that bonus. We did it. We did it. Very well. She may go. Break your word, and my serpent shall feed. Sif, sif, deal it to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <sighs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Teela pierce it. <sighs> Bitchy. I hate wolves. I didn't realize you were. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's. Just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least. In case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpole? Positive. You can trust me on that. Turn to other matters. Um, let's leave. Gail, what do you want? Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break? Hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. Hmm. Rather important, no less. All right, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, have hmm? Survived some perils. Overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. The way you got Korga to release the girl. In short, I've grown to trust you. Um, enough with the flattery. Where is this going? I was being quite sincere, I assure you. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. What kind of condition? The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Hmm. What kind of items are we talking about exactly? Oh, staffs, tomes, cowls. The form doesn't matter, so long as it's brimming with weed. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. Where do you suggest we find the artifacts you need? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard one such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. 
Honestly, that sounds terrible. I see no upside to this for me. Then I suggest you look closer. Having a wizard like me around is quite the boon when facing the perils that stalk these lands. It'd be far harder for me to assist you if I could barely stand upright. Please, trust me. Your help could be the difference between life and death. I have powerful magic in my possession already. Take what you need. You're slightly ahead of me there. As yet, my condition is stable. I have no need to consume anything. When the time comes, I will not hesitate to call on you all the belongings you were generous enough to offer. I know the allure magic artifacts hold. I understand their value and their power. All this to say, I understand the sacrifice I ask of you. But if I may be so bold, it's for a very good cause indeed. I hope I can count on you. I don't know if I want to do that. We meet again, as predicted. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Uh... What kind of services can a skeleton offer? Mm. Care to explain what now? Yeah, a mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Mm. You mentioned a cost. What is it? A matter of coin. Ooh, can you help me change my class? Mm. Then I shall wait here patiently until it is acquired. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Go on, say it. You think I'm a monster? You're protecting your own, sometimes cruelty is required. Mm, only a monster would threaten a child. Now, First you urge grace, thing. then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter, I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove. Free from harm, free of intruders. The right must be born of powerful magic. The right of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands. That we choke them out. I came on Zevlor's behalf. His people could perish if you force them out. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Then it seems I'd best speak to Zevler. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed and the grove forever shrouded. I see you. Just give me a moment. Is there anything I can do to help? A moment. There is Medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? I'm looking for Nettie. You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Do you know anything about mind players? Why are you asking? No good way of putting this. I, um, uh, have a tall tadpole in my head. A tadpole? A mind flayer tadpole? You know of them? Can you help me? I, uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. I'm hoping for a less grave cure. I'll do the best I can. I'm no Master Halson, mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I'm interested in the procedure, actually. Please, go ahead. All right, let's see what we can do. Thank you. I'll take anything that can help. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? Hmm. No, nothing strange. I just want it out of my head. Nothing? You sure? I did fall from the ship from a ship in the sky, but something caught. Protected from on high. Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a mind flare ship. I was kidnapped and infected. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me. So I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I thought you could cure me. What about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure, only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that. 
but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you, maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. What do you mean, should be changing? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. So you think it's only a matter of time? Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. What do you want me to do? The thing is, I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean, they won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned, and perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? All right, I'll find Halson. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove, to me. I wish I could tell you more, but only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna, and Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there, and if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Got it! We shouldn't steal. Okay, let's go to our camp. I think that's gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoy my content, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. Please leave a comment down below on any tips, tricks, questions, or concerns that you might have. And then also, if you'd like, you can check out our membership page by clicking the join button. There is no join button. You can find both links to YouTube membership and Patreon in the description below. With that being said, I'm going to give my current supporters the recognition that they deserve by putting their name in the credit roll. If you want your name in the credit roll, be sure to become a member. So, credit roll in three, two, one, go! Alrighty then, so, yeah, uh, if you want, click on any of these videos to see some of my other content. I don't know where the videos appear, maybe there, maybe there, maybe here, I don't know. But be sure to click on one of them for more content. With that being said, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!